has your soldering mojo fizzled out? Don't worry, we've got a fix. Um, this great little Antec soldering iron started off great, but over time it's um, soldering has become a lot difficult and it's made us doubt our soldering mojo. Perhaps you've got the same issue. We suspect it's probably just the tip that's not working, but before we buy a new one, we've got a little method to, try. to try first. We'll show you the process, the before and after, and a quick soldering job to test it out. This is the same soldering iron and tip that we use in our how to solder video. And it was so good of a tip and soldering iron that our little sister could use it on her first ever solder job. Check out that video if you want some really good soldering tips and to see my first time soldering. This Antex um, soldering iron was cheap, but it was really good, really reliable. And lately it's, um, we've not been able to solder very well. And it got to the point where this soldering iron couldn't even melt the solder. And that's when we knew that it wasn't us, it was something to do with the soldering iron. So we went onto Amazon, had a little look for some new tips. And that's when we came across this tip tinner. So we, um, we're going to try this out today. This sol soldering iron's been heating up for quite a while, while we've been setting up. I'm just going to prove that it doesn't melt. So if you can see I'm putting it on, holding it on. It's really not melting. Do you want to do another shot from a different angle? Or... So hold it there for a good few seconds. Yep, yeah, nothing. So I've opened up the tip tinner. My sister's just filming it with a macro lens. It's not the best for you guys. No. Um, I can do a close-up on that camera later. Anyway, um, I'm just going to open it up. And apparently I just need to roll the tip of the soldering iron in it for a good few seconds. And it should work again. So I'm just going to open it up. Let's see what it looks like. I don't quite know what I'm doing. I'm just going to put it in. Roll it about a little bit. What the heck? It's like ASMR. I'm really shaky, by the way. I wonder if it's going to be shiny. It's a bit suspicious. Of, I wonder Ooh. whether we should be salivating okay. and inhaling the fumes. So I'm I done. Can't smell it. I've done that for a little bit. Are there any instructions of what you're supposed to do? There is in the pack. <laughs> Did you read them? Ish. <laughs> okay. Right. So now I'm going to try again. Whoa. I mean, that melted immediately. That is melting, yes. Oh my gosh. So um, it has worked. I don't know if you can see the things in the screen. It's a bit. It has worked very well. <laughs> oh, good catch. Let's give it a really good coating. So I'm going to put it in. I'm just going to hold it in there. Twist it about a bit. Just keep it in there. Three, two, one. I'm going to pull it out now. That's made it silver. And I'm pro I might put it in this to get rid of the bubbles. So it's silvery, looks like it's retinned it, and the blobs are gone because I've just rubbed them off. I'm gonna test it out by soldering this ESP32 onto its header pins. Before we continue, if you like our videos, then you'll love our Raspberry Pi Pico pinout PCB coaster. Not only does it provide a platform to rest your cup on, but it also provides a handy pinout right at your fingertips in your Pico projects. Also check out our VS Code cheat sheet PCB coaster coated in this lovely immersion gold. Hold that down. Okay, that's one. That's a pretty botchy job, that one. Hi, it's Caleb. I'm editing this, so this isn't live audio. I'm just overdubbing it, and I don't know if it was because I was getting filmed and had the pressure of doing this first time, or whether it was because I was penned in and couldn't move my elbows correctly. Um, but it wasn't as easy soldering-wise as using a new tip. I wasn't using any flux, mind you, and also we've got to remember it couldn't even melt any solder beforehand. Now. If I didn't have a new tip handy, um, and I just had this tinner, tip tinner in a drawer, it would do the job. I think next time I would stick the tip in vinegar and possibly even sand it down as well to give it to give the tinner a surface to really stick to. The price of a new tip is roughly the same price as this um, tip tinner, um, so it's going to last you a lot longer, it's more cost effective. Um, and also, also this tip that you're seeing here is five years old. 
it's had a lot of abuse. It's had three kids not look after it very well, um, not take care of their co- tools as they should do. You know, it's burnt through plastic. I think I've actually um, nearly gone through the wire of the soldering iron with the tip. So it's been through a lot. Um, and this tip tin has really brought it back to life. I think if you were to um, look after your tip and tin it regularly, you know, it would really boost the life of your tip. So now um, I've done soldering, I'm just going to take it off. So. There we go. Is it, all the legs are on. And it's soldered nicely. <laughs> Got my sister holding the light there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, just before we go, another push on our product. We've got the um, VS Code cheat sheet, two versions of these, Quirky Misprint, which is this one. That's at a reduced price in our shop, five, six pounds these before are coast- shipping. coasters, by the way. PCB coasters, yes. Yes. Immersion gold finish. So that will, we're not restocking in um, this. But Once it's gone, it's gone. We've got the normal version for full price. That's about eight pounds. Yeah. Um, link will be in the description. This one's the VS Code version. Um, Raspberry Pi Pico. Cuts. Yeah, and then this one's the Raspberry Pi Pico pinout. And we've got a lot of stock of these. Yeah. Um, so feel free to buy those. Um, but we'll be doing some giveaways as well of the limited edition version of the pinout and some of our other misprinted other coasters. switch other coasters. So keep an eye out. Um, we did do a last a live stream recently, yep. um, a little dock race, and that seemed to go down quite well. Bit of controversy over Kevin winning that one, though. <laughs> yeah. But um, anyways, just keep a lookout on our socials. Again, yep. link will be in the description for those for any live streams and giveaways that we do. Yeah. In the future. Um, thank so, you so much for watching. Yep. Yeah. Have Hope a good you day. enjoyed the tip. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you Very want. sorry about that ridiculous joke. Anyways, have a lovely day, and hope you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.